But first, Tom Jordan is talking about how you can make a difference in a child's life. And thank you, Mona. And yes, we all want to make a difference, especially in a, in a child's life. And January happens to be uh, National Mentoring Month, as we say Happy New Year to everybody. And we please have with us Antoine Spriggs and Marcus Thompson. We're working on that first name. So I, got, I, I nailed that first name. <laughs> Both you. with the Cincinnati Youth Collaborative and here to talk about um, National Mentoring Month. Glad to, glad to have you aboard. Well, thanks um, for having us. What, and we always like to get the history of the organization. How old is, is CYC in the mentoring program? Uh, this is our 30th year. Uh, we started in 1987 uh, with uh, John Pepper, who decided to get some business leaders together uh, to help address the uh, dropout rate, the high dropout rate in Cincinnati at that time. And I've, I've been to conferences, and, I, and at that time it was very high. Yeah. Know, made significant inroads. Um, before it gets lost, one of the things that uh, you're doing this uh, month is an annual kickoff event, and can mm -hmm. you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Um, January is National Mentoring Month, and the third Thursday of every month is Thank Your Mentor Day. So we are putting on the event to thank our mentors just for being a, a positive, a caring adult in children's lives. So uh, meteorologist uh, Sherry Hughes. Sherry. Uh, yes, Sherry. yes. Sherry. Sherry is going to be our <laughs> MC, uh, And we have our keynote speaker, Chief Elliot Isaac, uh, Cincinnati Police Department, who is a strong supporter of youth mentoring programs in Cincinnati. Um, it's being held at the Great American Paul Park, okay. who is our sponsor, and Delaware North, who is sponsoring our catering for the event. All right. Sounds good. So January 18th, 5.30 to 8.30, is that the time we have? Yes, sir. And again, Chief Isaac, the keynote speaker, and our own Sherry Hughes. Got to put a plug out on Sherry Hughes being a, uh, the uh, MC. And matter of fact, she's uh, been mentoring a young lady for several years since, since her arrival in Cincinnati. Yeah. Marcus, uh, Anderson High School graduate, correct? Yes. Sir. Everybody asked in Cincinnati what high school you went to, so he went to Anderson High School. <laughs> and you're a mentor yourself. Um, and how long have you been mentoring? I am a little over three years now. Yeah. And how, how has the experience been for you? And can you kind of relate to us uh, some of the, the positive things that have happened since you've been mentoring? Yeah, it's been absolutely amazing. I love being able to do this. Uh, the young man that I've been uh, paired with through the CYC, uh, he's a sixth grader at SCPA right now. Um, we've been together again for three years. We've got a connection where uh, my father passed it early at an early age, and his father passed at an early age due to a stray bullet. Uh, and so wow. we've been able to make that connection over the years. Uh, we've grown together. We set goals at school, which he's far exceeded them all, goals in terms of grades, goals in terms of saving money. And so being able to give back to him some of the things that, you know, I wasn't afforded because my dad passed early has just mm. been unbelievable. So it's just amazing experience. And the CYC has done just an amazing job of pairing me with the, the perfect person and paying attention to what I wanted to do as a mentor and then the needs that he had as a mentee. So it's been wow. great. Wow. Yeah. That, yeah. That is powerful. So uh, for those that are watching, if one, someone wanted to get involved with open mentoring and other uh, this is an idea of youth collaborative. How would they do that? Well, they can go on our website, cycyouth.org, and fill an application um, to volunteer. Uh, we have various mentoring opportunities for people. They can do the traditional one-to-one -one community mentoring. They can do worksite mentoring. They can do college mentoring. Uh, they also can do group mentoring, where we have our Saturday Hoops uh, mentoring program at the LTR Rec Center uh, beginning in January through uh, May on every Saturday. Okay. Mm -hmm. And... And sometimes, I, when I, and this is my own personal experience, I had a young man that I mentored. Um, it wasn't a kid that was in trouble. Mm -hmm. It just needed somebody to, to hang, hang out with. And I think, you know, Marcus kind of found out that sometimes it's not these kids are just not in trouble, like they haven't getting sprayed out or anything like yeah. that. Just they want somebody to spend some time with. But it's very important, especially a young man, young woman, to see somebody that's doing something that they aspire to do um, and to have that hope and have that vision to be able to see that. And so, yes, it's not always a kid that's in trouble. It's just somebody that needs to see what it looks like so they can have a, a picture of what it looks like to get there. So. And we have the we have that um, website address again, cycyouth.org. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, now we we would say this, and it may be kind of hard to to get any raw data, but yeah. can you kind of talk about really how much that important it is for uh, how mentors make an impact on these kids in the, in the city? Yeah. Well, studies show that having a caring adult in a in a youth's life can help reduce uh, delinquencies, academic failure. Um, also help promote social emotional competence like relationship skill building, um, strong communication, self esteem, things like that. And it's because of CYC getting involved early on in our kids' life that by focusing on these areas, uh, over 95% of our seniors graduate on time and wow. ready for that next step in their in their in their adult life. 
Great. Um, before you leave from both of you, is there anything, um, given this, the time that we have and the, and the platform we have, anything that you would like to convey to our audience about, the, again, the importance of mentoring and, and, and um, your experience with kids? Well, as CYC embarks on our goal of having a thousand mentors helping a thousand uh, students, we are very close to reaching that goal. I mean, I would just urge people to get involved any way they can, and like you said earlier, um, it doesn't have to, have to be a real big time commitment. Um, just being a consistent adult caring adult in that child's life can make a just make a huge difference. Yeah. Marcus? Yeah, and to add to that, I would say the return on investment uh, for the time that you put into these kids' lives, uh, there's, there's no comparison. Uh, so what you'll get back in return in terms of uh, the impact you'll make for a kid uh, economically in the future, the impact it will have on you as a person, um, there's no comparison. So uh, I would tell everybody out there to please just, you know, become a mentor and part in some kids' lives and uh, you'll, you'll find a great benefit to it. So. And I always like to see we have African, African American males who need it, but the, again, we need female, males, yes. white, black, all across the board. Just yeah, need everyone. people to, to step up. Um, I heard one quote saying that the, some people say, I don't feel called to do that, but sometimes the need is the call. Yes. It's a great need in the city. Appreciate you being here. Again, um, if you, the uh, website is on the screen there, cycyouth.org. Uh, can contact if you want to be a mentor again. I can personally testify, and I know Sherry Hughes, again, who's going to be the MC for the event, can testify to the blessings um, and, and just speaking to part of a child's life. And then all that they remember you and their families remember yeah. you. Yeah. All right. And we appreciate you and, and want you to come back soon. Yes. Right. Thank you. Thank Thanks you very much. All right. Coming up next, activities to celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. Day.